Hi, it's Lorraine for Go Go Getaway, and I'm here with my um, second layout of my uh, Reels of Colour class for our June getaway. So you've got these three lovely um, Viewmasters, which are a cut file designed by myself for this class. So they're going to feature the, the multiple and the three different sizes um, Viewmasters on this layout. So you can see they are actually backed. Um, the largest one with that lovely the gold grid from the speciality paper that created a really lovely translucent effect that really mimicked what is on sort of like the vintage I say vintage as when I was a child why am I using the word vintage um, retro I think we'll go with the word with um, the view masters how they looked really and how they felt so there I'm coming in to add some some color behind that on the rear with these lovely watercolors I'm not going to take you through on the video of each one it's really self-explanatory really easy you just do a wash on the back of the colors you can make them as watery as you like or as pure color as you like depending on how vibrant you'd like it so there's the back and there's the front okay so i'm coming in here with this um uh, paper that's got the, the lovely black just cutting out cutting the um, center so we've got a border all the measurements are on your instructions if you'd like to know exact measurements so taking down this white cardstock so that you'll be able to see that black contrast border behind it get that distressing tool out again because it just has to be done and then sticking that centrally to that frame That black is lovely because it's got like this this wash of colour that's um, on it as well. So you've got all those bright colours that you can still see pops of in the black. And now I've got a nice cup of coffee being brought to me by my son. Always risky having a cup of coffee when you're doing a, a class video. I don't spill it. So anyone that's having a bit of a, oh, careful of that coffee moment. I can promise you it's not spilled. Okay, so I'm just curling up those edges. There. So I'm coming on to now mounting my photo. It's a square photo. I've used a black and white photo again um, of my 2000 photos from uh, my daughter's wedding. Again, this is really fun before the wedding. Uh, my granddaughter actually having a little bit of um, what she thinks is makeup. It's just light coloured highlight, sort of like a highlighter powder put on by my daughter. Which works really fun with some of the um, the die cuts in this the ephemera in this kit. I love the paint, little paint um, tubes. To me, it screams sort of makeup, paint, fun, creation. So, yeah, goes perfect. So here I am cutting out um, this die cut ephemera to go behind the um, the smallest viewmaster. Just cutting the little notches in. Just so none of that is shown on the outside. So that um, that piece of ephemera was ideal for this because the positions of the colours almost matched up as well. It's a quick, easy way to add backing and interest in some of those colours. So here I am with um, the medium-sized one, and actually that other piece of white cardstock you um, will have in this kit. For, for using with this kit I have lightly drawn, use it as a template, lightly drawn um, around that and just cutting that out with scissors to that circle. So that's going to create another layer of the back, the reverse of this, this one, which we're going to get really fun with our paints on this one. So it's not going to, we're not needing to keep it um, neat, neat effect as we did with the uh, speciality paper one popping through. You'll see as we um, do this, the idea of this one is to be a bit more arty and not and almost create like a colour palette as when you're mixing colours and things. So you can see I'm just painting over the top of the actual cut file, but with the solid one that you've just cut at the back. So it's not used as a template. What you're painting on is what you're going to see. So 
there. And I'm just going around each of these view masters just to create contrast between that white background and the white of the, the view masters with the black watercolour and the brush. You could do this with ink, you could do this with another colour if you want to bring another colour into your layout. So I'll just go around each one. Doesn't matter if it's not too neat. I mean, this is a fun, funky layout. It doesn't need to be precise. There, and all three of them are done. See just how they, just adding that thin um, watercolour edging just really does make it pop better from the, the background. So I'm now gonna um, position them. It's almost in, in like a visual triangle, really. You'll see the heart is upside down on that black one. Don't panic, because you can't see that. But the way I wanted it to be positioned was with um, the colors in, in that format there. So that, that is where they're gonna be sitting. So I know my photo is gonna go on the largest one. I know roughly where I want it positioned. So here I'm coming in with the 3D foam. So this is raised up. Just slightly off center so that the bottom two edges sort of overlap. Here you can see um, three of the colored circles that are cut, trimmed from the vellum as well as um, some of the ephemera. Not all of them stay on my layout but that's how they are at the moment. I'm just cutting off that white edging of these um, paint tubes. Again, that was just, I felt it was just a little bit, little bit too thick for, for my layout. You can hear the thought processes here as I'm, I'm designing this. This is not gonna be the same order as in, in your instructions because obviously you're watching how the layout comes together and how my mind is working as I'm going along. So there you can see I've removed those three circles. Wasn't happy with how they were. I felt the colors were a little bit overwhelming. I want to make it a bit more color on color effect to draw your eye to each one. So I'm going with that orange at the top and you can see that die cut with those three circles with the wow factor written on, which again worked perfectly with my photo. And then I'm adding the teal just under the photo and some layers of that um, journaling banner. Just having to play around, sort of thinking about where I may put those lovely pink tassels. I'm thinking they may want to go just on the um, largest one, but they do change as I work through this layout. It's funny because I really enjoy the process of um, sort of moving things around, finding out where I want want to put them. But when I'm watching back doing voiceovers, I get really annoyed with myself. I'd like just make a decision, but at the time I really enjoy it. So it's quite funny. Anyone else do that? I'm just trimming a little bit of the black off that. That's just a little bit long. I wanted the paint tube in that banner just staggered. So you can see I've come with, in with the pom-pom trim to the bottom um, half of that medium watercolored Viewmaster. I thought that was really cute, just hanging off the bottom there. And then a fussy cut um, that I think is I can do great things or I can do things. Um, piece from the ephemera again I've got various things on my desk that I play with but what I f finish with is this so you can see um, on the medium one I do bring that circle back in as well as the die cuts like a coffee stamp um, circle onto the top I've added um, just like that moth teal moth the butterfly pink butterfly to the left and the sort of more peachy color to the um, right and in the center of both those butterflies at the bottom half, I've actually added the tassels, or I'm planning to add the tassels, um, 
actually as if it's that body of the butterfly and antennas I thought that would be really really cute cute way to add those so you see I've got I haven't got a piece of ephemera or a sticker on my hand there it's actually a plaster as you can see my hands are a little bit um, scratched again that's because of Wilfred the puppy um, but the plaster I've got on there is actually I couldn't find um, a natural plaster an adult plaster that is actually an lol children's plaster that i have here for my granddaughter but actually it's quite funny it looks like i've chosen it on purpose to coordinate with the kit so there i am just positioning exactly where i'd like those butterflies to go before i commit with my stronger glue and foam and i decide i'm just really really happy with those centers So the view masters were very much made as um, the features of the layout that is the concept of this class and the different ways you can actually paint those back those and then what i've done is i've gone on to embellish and add interest by almost making a cluster on each so that way it draws your eye still into that visual triangle and it sort of doesn't lose that that composition which is with adding so many different you know elements colors textures it can be really crazy to the eye but this way it actually just brings everything sort of calmly back down and draws your eye around the page. Really is helped by a black and white photo on on this layout too. Although the colours of, of the photo before I turned it black and white would have actually worked with the class. I really did like the contrast because you've got that black, that black frame too. So here I am just adding some um, small foam pads underneath where the paint is coming out of the paint pots. I'm just coming in with a couple more of like the flowers, the fussy cut flowers, thinking about am I going to add some to the top along that edging. I'll bring some back to the bottom there as well. I've done some little punch outs here and just little cutouts of the gold grid speciality paper just to bring some of that interest back in and some of that sparkle but I didn't want too much um, you know actual lumpiness or dimension on those just want it quietly there in the background so just adding those in now I do take some of those away. I think that's you know just a bit too crowded. There isn't enough white space, but you can see how you can add further interest to the white space without making it too crowded. So I add um, the heart at the top there, which I've cut from the centre of the small um, viewmaster. Just add in to the top, so sticking them down, creating that interest. So add in some um, little sparkles, little gems that are in your kit. I'm just coming in there with that, that black asterisk, which was from that strip paper. Thinking about adding um, journaling, just a few lines just under the black, the large Viewmaster. Just a few lines there and just piercing some holes so that I can stitch those um, lovely tassels just in place of the black embroidery thread. I actually do also have um, a row, um, not a row, a line of um, foam, sticky foam underneath them to just hold them up as well. There I am just adding that black thread, securing it down keeping those tassels nice and, and tightly in place. So as you can see, having a bit of trouble threading a needle here. <laughs> I need a, a needle threader in my life to sit next to me when I do sewing, I think. 
an actual person, not one of those wiry things that break after the first use. So as you can see, just a small little knot on the back, just a couple of little, um, little running stitches through that hoop back and forth. There, and it stays really nicely. I love how they look in the centre of those butterflies. So I did add um, some little splatters of the paint as well to each of those clusters. Use black, as you can see here, just added just a little bit of contrast again, a little bit of interest. Hope you've enjoyed my class. Look forward to seeing your examples.